Crespo, yes. Okay, no worries. That's great. Okay. Hello, welcome to the Flubber Nose Podcast, and I'm here with Patrika Darbo. Hi, Patrika. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, so, first off, I wanted to ask how you got into the whole acting industry. <laughs> well, um, first of all, my mother always says that I came out of the womb acting. Okay. Um, I was, I guess, a drama queen as a child. Uh, but I did it in school and a college um, and commu- a lot of community theater. Um, I didn't learn how to wait tables. So it was, I took a full-time job and never took a vacation to turn in time. And um, so I held down a position as a lady executive for 20 years acting part-time. Okay, cool. And I had a gentleman tell me that, that I was a woman, no more than a goat, and to never contradict him again. So after I told the president that he had 20 minutes or two weeks notice, uh, because I wouldn't work for that man again, um, I was 20 minutes and my career started as acting full time. (laughs) Oh, wow. Sounds very cool. Yes. Uh, So obviously, well, the first show I know you from is The Middle. Um, So you're in one episode, weren't you, as the secretary? Um, I did. Yes, I came in. I think I was in the office working in the office room uh, with... uh, um, the, with the daughter at the time. Yeah, Eden. Is it Eden, Eden yeah. yeah. Who is a remarkable, remarkable actress. Um, um, I'm hoping to see more of her on television or films because she was really terrific. Oh, that's great. Uh, what was it like working on that episode for the day? You know, it was a lot of fun. It was, you know, I think it was, I did the first season, I think, or, or maybe the start of the second season. So they were trying to make sure that it caught on and got going. And um, so the producers had a lot of input as to what was happening. Um, and the, of course, the casting people were very gracious in finding the talent to come in to be in the show. And I was very grateful to be part of it. Yes. Oh, that's really good to hear. I'm glad. Um, and obviously your longest show you've done his days of our lives so what was it like being part of that show oh that was amazing because i'm not physically i'm not your normal um soap opera actress okay uh so uh, i was i always say that i'm a size two with a zero on the other side of the two instead of in front of the two Um, at least when i was asked to be a part of the um the cast i i thought i was going on to work in a bar be a waitress you know work in uh, because I didn't think of myself as the soap opera type. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden somebody says, turn on, you're going to see who your husband is. And I was like, oh my God, they don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> but because Kevin Spirit is, is your typical gorgeous looking soap opera guy. Anyway, we had a wonderful time for what almost, I guess, almost 10 years. And then I've come back three and four other times. And um, it was a wonderful experience. I'm still friends with a lot of people there. I've oh, watched wow. Nadia, who played my daughter grow up yeah um you know she was 18 when she started now she's you know got her own children and wow. <laughs> um it's it's amazing it's amazing it is like a family i think that's what um was so nice about it mr corday and his mother and father who started it wanted to keep it as a family show so it was... oh. oh that's really good to hear um so did you have any favorite moments in the show Um, probably some of the fun things, I think in our first or second year, when we were kind of chasing and doing bad things to a couple of other people, (laughs) we had some fun things on the road to Las Vegas, getting locked up in jail, jumping out of windows, ending up in trash barrels. And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Sounds like it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so what are some of your other favorite shows or Movie, movies of I did part. a I did a film. Uh, I first I performed on stage here in in Los Angeles and what in the Equity Waiver. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that over there, but it's it's a 99 seat theater um, that can work and it's called Equity Waiver. So okay, um, we didn't get paid. I did this show for two years called Daddy's Dying. Who's got the will? Okay, and then we were invited to take it to Edinburgh to perform in the Fringe. Oh wow. Uh, and then we came back and we performed some more and then they did the film and I got to reprise my role in the film. So that was a wonderful experience. And that was what took me over to the UK. So it was very nice. I oh, uh, nice. had a great time in Scotland. Um, I was the only one brave enough to drive a car up to Perth out of Edinburgh. <laughs> so we had one heard there. I, I think I probably hit a couple of um, side mirrors. <laughs> And roundabouts, let me just talk about roundabouts, honey. Okay, yeah, there's a <laughs> oh lot. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. I think I went around about 20 times on one of them, scared to death as to where I was supposed to get off. But 
um, one of the ladies that was with us was from there, but she was too afraid to drive, but she was in the back seat going, get out, get out, get out now. Like this. So um, God bless you all who drive those roundabouts. Yeah, I currently don't drive, so I just leave that to my parents the time being. Oh, Lordy, because yeah, it's it is a little frightening, a little frightening. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's driving in the UK is not exactly the best. I'd no, say that. But it was, you know, but the week when there were the four of us went down to London after the the French was over for us, and yeah, um, it was a wonderful it was being that uh, that Yankee American over here who first got to go in there and the history, the history there. Uh, I can only recommend to anyone who wants to take a trip to please go to London, at least go to London and tour there. I mean, Edinburgh was brilliant, but yeah, I love Edinburgh, you know, just big Ben and the parliament and the, the, the tower of, I mean, there are so many wonderful things there. And I, I'm so appreciative of you, Adam, to invite me to be on the show, to share that with um, your, your countrymen, because it was a wonderful experience and hopefully some of my countrymen will be able to go there and see it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you enjoyed your time because London. Very much so. Yeah, I've been to London about three, four times, and it's just such a fantastic place. It is. Now, where are you? Of course, I, now I'm doing the interview. Where are you, Adam? Um, I'm near Manchester. Ah, that's where we landed when we came over to go to Edinburgh. Oh. We landed in Manchester, and then they didn't realize there were so many of us. They had to hire a second bus because we took a <laughs> bus to... It, it, that was fascinating because the sheep on the road on the way, it was just... Anyway, okay, I'm going to go back and let you talk to me. No, it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so much fun, so much fun. Oh, it's great to hear. Um, so, through your career, I don't, I don't know exactly how many years you've been acting for. Um, what's been some of your biggest accomplishments? Oh, well, I, I think winning an Emmy, uh, which is voted on by my peers, was wonderful. I've been nominated four times. Oh, nice. um, and I won once. Uh, I really won twice, but that's a whole political thing that we don't need to go oh, into. Okay. <laughs> but um, it, for a brief period of time, I had two statues, <laughs> which had nothing to do with me. It was all about the producers and the organization, but that's another story for oh, another okay. time. Um, so those have been the most wonderful things because they are uh, given to you by your peers, like the Oscars and the Emmys and the to to all of them, you're voted on by your peers. So to be honored by my peers was a wonderful experience. That's really good to hear. Yes. Um, so, so, sorry, go on, sorry. No, no, you go. No, no sorry, it's, it's fine, go on, it's fine. It, well, just, I mean, um, I think, uh, I'm trying to think of some, I've won several other kind of awards that um, come from, diff that come from um, my um, fans as well, which is always oh, wonderful. Yeah. And I think uh, and you have the Days of Our Lives um, logo in the back of you and stuff. Yeah. The, the daytime fans. Uh, are some of the most amazing people and wonderful fans ever. They are so loyal. I have some of them that I've known for over 25 years that have become wow. close friends. And um, I can't speak highly enough of them. Uh, I, um, none of us as celebrities of any kind would be anywhere without our fans. Um, so uh, I say thank you. Thank you. It's really amazing to hear you say that. It's, I mean, it's glad to give back, I suppose, you know, like two-way system, I suppose. So I like that. Yeah, it, I think it's important. I mean, I think the most important thing in the world is try to be kind to one another. And um, I think, again, as I said earlier about Days of Our Lives being a family kind of thing. Yeah. The, the fans of daytime become your family and you become theirs because you're in their house every single day. <laughs> so yes. it's, it's, it's that. It's, it's some of the hardest work I've ever done, Adam. Um, because there, if you're in a heavy storyline, you're doing 40 pages a day that you have to memorize. Wow. Um, and it, so it's, it, it trains that muscle, <laughs> that brain gets <laughs> trained better. Um, but it's, it is some of the hardest work I've ever done. I'm very appreciative to have been invited in there. Um, I am now, I did Bold and the Beautiful after that, which was wonderful. Um, I've done General Hospital. The next step, the next show is hopefully Young and the Restless. Um, and those are the only four soaps that are left right this moment. Um, oh, okay. Even though we all have here, I don't know. Do you have new media in the UK? I don't know. Like for soaps. Our, yeah, for our contracts as, as actors, we have this new thing called new media, which is like sh shows that are just basically a soap but they may only be five minutes long and one whole season may be just 10 minutes or 50 minutes so and it's all under a new media contract and they're virtually the new soaps that are going on so oh. it's 
it's the power of um, the digital world at this point and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you can now, here's my phone here. You can now shoot a movie. I think it was Tangerine was Oscar nominated be, uh, and it was all shot on an iPhone. Really? So it, wow. It's, it's amazing. Um, and this old dinosaur is going, oh no. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh no! I <laughs> like. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. <laughs> I like. Listen, if you hadn't, if my, Anthony was calling me three times, who is my PR guy, was calling me, going, "Did you get your email?" I said, "No, I haven't got an email. What are we going to do? I didn't get an email. What are we going to?" And he said, well, "Let me check. Let me check." So anyway, it came in different than I expected it to. So, but we did get. It. So I'm grateful to be here, Adam. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. No, it's fine. Don't worry. I I, I understand you're a bit old, a bit older, so I can tolerate you're not going to be as fast with technology stuff. So I understand that. It well, it's crazy now because because of the COVID lockdown for all of us, all performers have had to do any auditions have always been and now been by Zoom. Of course, um, yeah. And you and you have to self tape and then you have to download it and then you have to send it and that's why I have a minion because I can't do <laughs> a minion. God bless my minions. <laughs> Because I'm like, no, I can't. Oh, dear. And <laughs> so um, it's it's a whole new thing. And um, I'm very grateful. I have some younger friends who help me out. Um, and I do think it's the future. So I'm trying to learn more and more myself, though. I'm still like I need to go have a cocktail at eight in the morning because I go, oh, my God, I pushed the wrong button and I'm going to be bad. Oh, well. well, it's good to see you learning every, you learn something new every day, I suppose. So. Well, I think that's, we all must, we have to embrace it. It's new age. We got to learn as much as we can. Exactly. And you seem to be doing fine with it also. <laughs> um, so I wanted to ask, um, obviously, as you said, in COVID, it's harder. So are you doing any roles at the moment? Any jobs? And nothing right this moment. I have done a couple of um, dub dubbing. I dubbed a Spanish thing and I also dubbed a Polish thing. Uh, film that Netflix put together. Those were in a very sterile environment that I got to do. I've got a couple commercials over here running. So, but basically television and film right this moment, I haven't done though um, the end of, um, I guess it was just before we got into lockdown, I did a couple things, but right now it's just, um, they've just started auditioning more. So hopefully things yeah. will pick up and we'll get going. Okay, so. that's good to hear. Uh, very good to hear. <laughs> Uh, both my husband and I've had our COVID shots, so we're we're sort of in the in the good zone right this moment. So oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to. Hear. Yeah. Um, so, do you work on any personal projects like writing? Well, I do have a couple projects that I'm, I'm writing. I'm working with my manager right now to see if we can get some things going. Um, I just it's it's called show business for a reason. So we try to find the things that are going on. I try to um, encourage the kids that I. Um, uh, mentor uh, that to to be open to everything don't don't sit in a bar and wine <laughs> get in a class do stuff surround yourself with people that are like-minded that are anxious to do stuff um, uh, it's that's so important and my one thing I always say at everybody is if it's your dream you can have it yeah don't I, let anybody yeah. tell you you can't <laughs> ever I totally agree with that. <laughs> must you must you must do that so um, I do, um, I, I guess that's about all I'm doing right this moment, other than, you know, being out there reading scripts or looking at projects, uh, keeping up on what's going on in the world. And that's about all we can do right this moment. Yeah, exactly. Keep ourselves busy whilst all the craziness goes on. Though uh, we're going right <laughs> crazy too sometimes. I think we've all got a bit crazy in the last year. <laughs> We've all we're all been in prison and none of us did a crime, so it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. That's the best way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, so obviously, on days of our lives, the middle, as we discussed, is there any other roles that you have loved being part of? Um, well, I you know again, like I said, I, I'm, I just finished Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I'm looking to do other things. I got Emmy nominated last year for um, a web series I told you about called. Uh, Studio City. Um, oh, you know, is that I, uh, Sean Canans? Yes, yes, oh, yes. My darling Sean. Sean and I think we've probably done 
a hundred things together. Wow. <laughs> We've known each other for so long. Um, several of the things that he's written and I'm so proud of him that he got Studio City off the ground and he's really working hard to keep that going. Yeah. Um, and I'm, listen, I know he's been trying to get on the, the Kung Fu show, I call it. I'm, <laughs> never, Cobra Kai. I, I, the Cobra Kai. Well, I call it the Kung Fu older. show. Yeah, again, older, older. Anyway. <laughs> So um, uh, I know that he's uh, he's been a part of that since way back when and that he loves the show. And so maybe he'll be on that soon, too. But yeah, um, I hope he is. It's he's um, he's he really put together some stuff with Studio City. I, do you know the Bay? Uh, San Francisco, is that? Uh, it, well, the Bay is another uh, web series. Um, they've won oh, like right. you know, tons and tons of them. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Kevin Spiritus, who played my husband on Days of Our Lives, he um, wrote and is starring in a show that they won tons of Emmys last year, um, After Forever, which is wonderful. And I think a kind of a documentary of that one is coming up. So there's so many opportunities for young people like you to create more work for other actors, like older actors like me and younger actors like you. Um, uh, there's so many venues to put the craft out there and give you the chance to um, to create your own work. It's exactly. wonderful. Yeah. That's what I love about modern day. It's There's so many different mediums these days. You can, it's so many different genres you can create. And it's, that's why I love it so much. Well, that's, I think that's what's so important with all the new uh, technologies that we have. It's the fact that it offers opportunities for you, a young person coming up to really create and, and, and live your dream and create more dreams for other people. And I just think that that's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah, I totally agree. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I would ask, ask you one final question. Um, okay. What does the fu- what what's your future plans? Oh, my future plans is um, you know, honey, listen, they're going to have to nail me in my coffin because I intend to be working constantly. So <laughs> um, I'm, you know, going to be open and auditioning for other things. Um, I, uh, I think that's one of the things that keeps us young is that we keep, we don't let somebody tell us we're old. We just go out there and say, no about our business. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was going to give you the finger, but I thought, no, I can't show it. Anyway, <laughs> I can do what I can do. You just better. Mm. <laughs> um, so again, whether you're young or old, you're only young or old as you feel, get out there, do stuff. Don't let anybody stop you. Have fun. Life's too short. Too short. It is. Well said, well said. <laughs> well, I want to thank you today for today. It's been great chatting with you. Adam, the same, uh, you know, have fun. And if you're over here, we'll have drinks someplace. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> But by the time you can travel here, we'll be open. So it'll be fun. We'll go, we'll go and see things. Okay. I'd love that. <laughs> it would be. And so you can find me on Darbo Patrika on Instagram, Patrika Darbo on Facebook. I answer people all the time. So please stay in touch. And I'm serious. You come over, we'll get with Anthony. We'll go cocktailing. <laughs> awesome. I look forward to it. <laughs> okay. Take care. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye, honey. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>